Hello, my name is Jim Penn. I'm the manager of retirement services here at VectorVest, and I'm very happy to be hosting this week's special presentation, which is titled Basic Option Strategies to Manage Risk and Diversify Your Portfolio. Learning about options can provide individuals with a valuable tool for managing risk and diversifying their overall portfolios. Remember that options can be used to hedge against market volatility, generate income, and allow you to profit regardless of the current market direction. So by understanding the basics of options trading, you can improve your investment outcomes and avoid costly mistakes. Additionally, options provide access to a range of assets and sectors through ETFs that can make it easier to invest in different asset classes. Overall, learning about options can help you navigate the complex world of investing and improve your financial future. Options are financial instruments that can provide you, the individual investor, with the flexibility you need in almost any investment situation. Now, many investors who are new to options hear the stories of how risky options can be. And to a degree, the stories are true if you don't know what you're doing, meaning you don't have a process or a system in place to set up and manage your trades. That's the same whether you're just trading stocks, whether it's options or, or any endeavor in life that you pursue. So my goal in this presentation is not to turn you into an options expert in the next 15 to 20 minutes, but rather to introduce you to the possibilities that await when you implement the basic option strategies that are available to you. In Dr. Delito's timeless seven secrets to making money with VectorVest presentation, he talks about secret number five, which is learn to trade options. Because option trading is no longer just for hedge fund managers and institutional traders, it's now an important part of the individual investor's ability to protect and grow their net worth. And when you pair the VectorVest market timing system with the most basic option strategies, it will allow you to keep your option trading risk low and the probability for reward high. Let's talk a little bit about what an option contract is. First of all, remember that it's a, it's a security. Right, and it trades just like a stock. There's a bid price and an ask price, and there is a market maker who is tasked with providing a fair and orderly market. It is also a negotiated contract with very strictly defined terms and conditions that you enter into. Now, stock options provide the right, but not the obligation, to either buy or sell units of 100 shares of stock at a certain price by a certain date. Those are the strictly defined terms and conditions. Okay, the certain price by a certain date. That certain price is called the strike price. It's the price at which the owner of a call option has the right to buy the underlying asset and the owner of a put option has the right to sell the underlying asset. That's where you strike the deal. The expiration date the second part of the strictly defined terms and conditions is the date on which the owner of the option ceases to have the right to buy or sell the underlying stock as conveyed by that contract. Okay, so this is just a quick foundation of what options are. Why trade options? Well, I talked a little bit about that already. First of all, as Dr. Delito pointed out in secret number five, number one, they provide leverage. Okay, they reduce risk in your portfolio in many ways by uh, the power of leverage, right, helps you to reduce risk because there's not as much cash outlay for taking positions. It also allows you to buy insurance and be protective of your equity positions. Naturally, there are lower costs involved. The flexibility and versatility of options allows you to make money in any market situation. Uh, for retirement-minded investors, it's very important to be able to generate income and it increases alternatives. Now, the key to all of that is they must be used properly. They must be used properly to achieve those goals. To continue our introduction, there are only two types of options. Right? So we want to break this down to build this foundation pretty easily. It's calls and puts. Right? There are call options and put options. And based on those two types of options, there are buyers and sellers. So once you understand the concept of what a call option is, what a put is, and that you can buy and sell them, the most advanced option strategies are built around this concept. Now, 
We'll start with call options. Remember, a call option provides the owner of that option the right to buy 100 shares of a stock at a certain price by a certain date. He's not obligated to buy it, it just gives them the right to do it. Call options will increase in value when the price of the underlying stock rises, so it's a bullish trade in this point. Put options provide the owner or the right to sell 100 shares of a stock at a certain price by a certain date, and the value of a put option increases when the price of the underlying asset falls. Right, So it gives the owner the right to put that stock to the seller of the put option. Here's a quick illustration of a long call. This is a P&L profile. Down below on the x-axis is the stock price and the option price on the y-axis here. And you can see as the stock price rises, so too will the value of your call option. So you enter into a call option with an expectation that the stock will rise. The risk uh, is limited to the premium paid. So if this was just a long stock P&L, you'd see that red line theoretically go all the way down to zero but your reward is unlimited because theoretically the stock can just continue to rise. So that's the P&L profile of a call option. Conversely, the put option, right? If you enter into a put option as the buyer, your expectation is that that stock or ETF will fall. So again, your risk is limited to the premium that you paid. Okay, and as the stock price falls, you'll see the value of your option price rises. So we say, uh, it's unlimited, but parenthetically, because the strike price minus the premium paid is your is your max reward. So theoretically, the stock could go to zero, and that would be your max profit. So I want to take a moment to go into the VectorVest program and just illustrate when you have a process or a plan in place, how the power of the VectorVest market timing indicators and the ability to find the best or the worst stocks if you're buying puts on them can help you profit in, in an up or trending or downtrending market. So I want to start here first in the in a market timing graph and what I've what I've done here is just kind of an illustration to show the power. I've used some stocks that we're all familiar with and I used our DEW timing system. Now I've gone back just to January 10th of this year when we have a DEW timing system to the upside. Now there are other sig uh, signals you can use. There's technical indicators you can choose to use. That's up to you. My goal is just this 30,000 foot view to show you the when done correctly, uh, the, the power that, that's involved here. The market timing graph shows us that on January the 10th of this year, we got a DEW timing system up call. I've taken a few stocks down below and I just want to show how those stocks performed based on the movement of the overall market. So we have Apple here on January 10th had a nice move to the upside. Our DEW didn't last real long, a little over a month, but it was a good opportunity to see the market rising. Our other indicators were crossing over from a bottom as well from an oversold condition. Okay, a great time to go in and I used Apple as an example, but I put a few others up here. You know, just some big names that we're all familiar with. Amazon also had a nice move to the upside from that January 10th. NVIDIA had a wonderful move to the upside. Tesla, right? These are, these are more expensive stocks where you can employ the power of leverage here to control shares of the stock at a much lower price. I also put in SPY, right? Because you can also uh, profit in an uptrending market by buying call options on ETFs that track uh, the major indexes. So there's SPY. We saw that moved up nicely. The Qs, which tracks the NASDAQ 100, also uh, had a great move to the upside. So these are just some very basic examples. But what I really want to convey here is the power of using the market trends and market timing and whether you use the VectorVest program to go into find good quality stocks in an uptrending market or stocks that are falling in a downtrending market. You can improve that even more. What I've also done is made another uh, graph here where it shows back in August of where we had a confirmed down call, right? And how you can profit in those as well. Now we had a, another short down call in, uh, in December, the market did move down and then kind of found a bottom. And now as I record here, we are in another confirmed down call with the market uh, taking a hit today on February 24th is down pretty good. So the, the key is being prepared to not only profit in an uptrending market, but to profit in a downtrending market 
or just as importantly for those with equity portfolios and a net worth to protect, this is the perfect time to go in and, and purchase uh, put options as an insurance policy on your overall portfolio. And you can see using basic vector vest market timing indicators will help you ensure you to be on the right side of the market when that trend is moving down. Okay, so we saw where SPY went. I also added the Qs in here as well. Okay, you can see the movement. Again, that's base that's going along. You could use the Russell 2000 I put in here if you want to uh, play that, uh, the Russell 2000 to the downside as well. So that's just a quick illustration of how these underlying stocks move and the power of the vector vest market timing indicators to help you be in the, on the right side. What I've done next is gone into our Options Pro software and just went back on kind of a back test to show a couple of these stocks and, and the potential profit that was available to you. Again, combining the VectorVest program along with some of these basic option strategies. So in the case of Amazon, this situation had us going out on January the 10th, when we got the, this is to the upside, this is buying calls here. On January 10th, we had an up signal, the DW was up. If you had gone out and did some due diligence and research, in this case, I'm using Amazon as the example. I went out and bought one contract of the March expiration date, which was about 60 day, a little over 60 days to expiration at that time. The strike price, right? was $90 per share, which gave me the right to buy 100 shares of Amazon at $90 per share. That was basically at that time an at the money call option. The price paid for that was $7.25 per share or $725 to control 100 shares of Amazon. Okay, so here's the, again, the, the power of leverage. So I marked it here just a couple of weeks out, a little over two weeks out, and I marked where you would have had over 100% return, right? This is the return here at $764, right? At one point, it would have been closer to 2000 had you held on to it, right? We, we teach certain risk management techniques that, that would have had us probably out somewhere in this area to pocket those profits, right? And this, this actual trade would still be open if, if you didn't close it somewhere in this area, at which point it would be down. This is where the risk management techniques come into play. But just, a, just a, again, a quick example on a well-known stock, buying it at the right time, understanding how to place the proper option trade. Okay, that's a hundred percent gain in just a couple of weeks. I did the same thing here with Tesla, and I showed that in, in on that date, Right on, on January the 10th, which was this date here, Tesla was trading right around $115, give or take uh, a few bucks. Okay, we bought an at the money, or had you bought an at the money call option, right? Giving you the right to buy 100 shares of Tesla at $115. For this, you would have paid $16.95 per share. We'll call it $1,700 to control 100 shares of the $115 stock. So that was on again, that was on January 10th. I marked here just a couple of weeks later. Okay. Now this is much more than a hundred percent return. That, that option would have been worth over $4,800. And the 6274 would be what it would be worth if you held it right to today. Okay. So that number was even higher. So again, the power of leverage, the power of being on the right side of the market, illustrated here and I, I didn't put the screenshots up but Apple would have would have shown very similar Nvidia would have was, was a very nice move to the upside okay, and would have had a great run there um, I do have the queues here right buying a call option on the queues instead of picking an individual stock you could have gone out and bought individual stocks call options again the one call the, the the ability to control 100 shares of a $270 ETF we bought an at the money call, cost us $14.80. A couple of weeks in, we had a 100% gain at $1,527. That number could have been higher. We're not looking at any one trade. I want you to understand that there's a system with risk management techniques and that we're not trying to hit a home run on every trade, but rather have an extended process that gives us uh, consistency in our winning trades. 
Okay, not every trade is going to be a winner. Okay, I'll never sit here and tell you you'll have 100% winning trades. But again, that's where risk management techniques come in. Now, shift gears here just a little bit, and I've changed the date. This goes back to 2022. Why did I choose that? Because the VectorVest program showed us that we had a confirmed down call in the market, and that is basically the last line in the sand to, if you're buying these for insurance purposes, to be able to insure your portfolio. But we use in our coaching group oftentimes the SPY, and had at 406 was an at-the-money put option, right? Meaning we had the right to put 100 shares of SPY to someone else at $406. It cost us $14.50 to do that. Okay, so again, that was here. And then just a few weeks later, almost a month later, there was another 100% gain as the market continued to fall. It could also be done on the Qs, IWM, the same way I showed it to the upside, but the SPY is where, where we use it. So the, those are just a handful of examples how options, when properly used, can help you benefit in, in any market, up or down. But the key is, and ultimately what will determine your success, is having a system in place that allows you to follow a process to help you out. So market direction, uh, st stock finder, finding the proper underlying stock, the option selection, set up, and then most importantly to me anyway, is manage and repair that trade once you are once you are in the trade, understanding how to manage that trade. And so these are the very important steps that we take to, to make sure that we put probabilities in our favor. And so those are just some of the reasons to look deeper into secret number five from the seven secrets to making money with VectorVest and learn how to trade options. If you go to this link at university.vectorvest.com, it will bring you to the VectorVest University. And what we have offered for you here as well is an entire course called Options Foundation Course. This is a free course that will walk you through when you click on that, that will walk you through a lot of the option basics here that I talked about, buying, selling calls, buying and selling puts, and give you a great foundation. You can click there. Again, that is free for you to do. Um, so great information there. Hopefully you will take advantage of that. And then from there, the, the next step from learning those option basics would be to understand how to implement, set up, and manage those trades. If you're interested in that, we are launching our Options Jumpstarter course uh, this week. You can go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash jumpstart uh, if you're interested in taking that next step and applying the setup and techniques that we use here at VectorVest. So thank you for taking the time, and we look forward to seeing you next time.